Hi, my name is Colin Richman. I'm a clinical periodontist in North Atlanta and I've got a university affiliation in the Department of Graduate Periodontics at Augusta University, uh, the Department of Graduate Period. My expert tip today relates to the new concept uh, recently provided in the World Workshop of Periodontics relating to staging and grading. In the past, after we obtain our appropriate diagnostic records for our periodontitis patients, and in fact for all of our patients, those patients were then categorized into a disease category based on the American Dental Association category for periodontal disease, uh, ADA type one or two or three or four, one being fundamentally gingivitis, two being early periodontitis with four to six millimeter probing depths, three being moderate to advanced periodontitis with uh, four to seven, eight, nine millimeter probing depths, and type four being advanced periodontitis. The American Academy of Periodontics decided at a recent world workshop to add more specificity to that categorization and to base the disease process on the medical model and presented us, which I agree with, with a staging and grading approach to our patients. Fundamentally, the staging process is a stage one or a stage two or a stage three or a stage four. Grading relates to risk of disease progression. So for example, a grade one would be a slow, in what we used to call a schmutzpyria, a slow progressive deterioration of the periodontium over many years. A grade two might include the fact that the patient is a light smoker and might be incipient or control diabetic and we find a greater risk for more, slightly more aggressive periodontal disease in that category of patient. A grade three relates to high risk. In other words, a very young patient, patients with neutrophil disorders, patients who are diabetic and or smoking, patients with significant mobility patterns or parafunctional habits. That would be a type three, a grade three stage three or four patient. I have developed a form in my office which is available from for a download both from my website as well as from the Seattle Study Club and they will make it available to you or you can download it uh, from, our, from our website. This form is what we use on all of our patients. It is check a few boxes and each category suggests appropriate therapies for that patient. I hope it's useful for you. I would suggest you download that form, modify it however you want. You've got my total permission to do that and start to incorporate that into your offices. I also suggest bringing the form, making it available to members of your study club and discussing the, those concepts together with your clinical staff at a future meeting of your group. I hope that was helpful and I thank you for your time.